Hey fam and welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So for those of you who are finding my channel for the very first time, my name is Marshawn and I am your life and relationship strategist. I help men and women alike to create the relationship that they want, need, and desire by simple tips and strategies that they implement into their life. All right, so today, today's video is a different type of video for my channel as well. Today's video, we are going to talk about forgiving your parents right after this. All right, fam, thanks so much for coming back to I Love Me, Me, Me. So, forgiving your parents. Why am I doing a video like this? This video was inspired by a group of lovely ladies. I had the pleasure of going to be on um, Brandy J's talk show. For those of you guys who are in Atlanta and that have access to, I think it's Nunu TV, I don't have access to it, so I might be saying that one wrong. And it's a couple other stations that I am unaware of, actually. But we were talking about the state of black women. And it seems that a lot of us are still suffering from the things that we did not receive from our parents. And uh, a lot of it is love. A lot of it is acceptance. A lot of it is um, we feeling like we need to compete and the whole comparison. And we don't realize that a lot of these things are deep-seated issues that came from our past. So our baggage that I talk about, this could be sort of the baggage. But a lot of it stemmed from your guardian. So I'm saying parents, but it could be whoever your guardian, guardian was. All right, fam, sorry about that. So a lot of it stems from... Our guardians and how we were brought up in the household and just everything that is swirling around in our heads, our insecurities, the way that we let people treat us, um, just all of the things that you feel that you lacked from your guardians or your parents. Now you're still carrying, now you're still carrying all of this stuff bottled up stuff within you because all of this stuff is just brewing within you it's actually slowly killing you and any chances that you have to have a happy healthy romantic relationship so the ladies there most of most of the ladies there i found were just carrying some of this pain and it doesn't matter how successful these ladies are becoming and are. They're still carrying the weight of the non-acceptance, the non-approval of who they were as children and even who they are today. So one of the young ladies was basically saying that um, her mom sometimes is in competition with her. And another young lady was saying that her mom compares her still even to this day. She's a very successful woman, but her mom compares her to her siblings. And so anytime she has a win and she calls home to like, hey, mom, guess what happened today? Blah, blah, blah. Her mom never is like, oh, my God, baby, that is wonderful, you know, whatever, Ce celebrating her. She's always like, well, okay, well, you know your sister. At what? And so that's always been a thing with her, with this 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 young lady's mom and their, and their relationship. It's something about her mom never accepting her. But anyway, I want to just bring all of that together and say that we have to forgive our parents. And I talk about forgiveness all the time and so it really doesn't matter who you need to forgive in this case yes you need to forgive your parents but you're not forgiving your parents you're not forgiving your spouse you're not forgiving that old ugly sucker that you broke up with you're not forgiving them for them you are forgiving them for you for your sanity for your relationships to go well for uh, and your relationship doesn't always mean your rom romantic relationships, your business relationships, your relationship with yourself. 
your relationships, period. All of that is affected when you are holding on and not forgiving somebody. In this case, we're talking about your parents. But you have to forgive your parents. I actually had a long talk with my mom because I was ticked off at my mom. And it was it was secretly ticked off because I felt like I should have never went through a divorce. If I would have got the, the tools, the strategies, the information from the household, then I would have never gotten a divorce. Or at least it would have increased my chances of never getting a divorce. I understand that my path is supposed to go the way it was supposed to go. However, I would have loved to have gotten that sit down, talk about this is what to expect. You know, don't expect, don't accept this from the relationship. This could be abusive behavior. Watch out for this. Watch out for the red flags. And again, maybe the verbiage might not have been the same when I was younger, but it's still the same information. You want to be treated like this. This is a no-no. You know what? You got a chip on your shoulder, so maybe you need to change some things. Like, I would have loved to have gotten a lot more guidance when it comes to relationships. That's one of the reasons why I'm so passionate about passing along the knowledge. Because a lot of us didn't get it from the house. And now, because we never got it from the house, we're even continuing the cycle with our own children. Because we're not equipped with the tools. And so if you're not equipped with the tools, how can you pass on knowledge that you don't have yourself? With that being said, the conversation that I had to wrap it up with my mom, she basically said the very thing that I just said. Say, baby, wasn't that I didn't want to give, it, give you the information? I didn't have it to give. Yeah. You know, immediately... The pain and suffering that I was going on with within myself, it went away because now I understood. I didn't get it because she couldn't give it to me. So I had to learn the hard way. I had to knock myself upside the head and just figure this thing out when it comes to dating and relationships. I had to figure it out because she couldn't help me. But for me, I didn't want to just figure things out. I didn't want to go from relationship to relationship and nothing is working out. So... I took a different route and I started to educate myself and I even interviewed some of my exes to figure out, you know, why didn't we work out? Like what happened with all of that? But all of that is to say, I didn't want to continue. Sorry, that's my baby. Um, she's moving the camera. Um, I didn't want to continue the cycle and be able to pass along to my daughter or not be able to pass along to my daughter what she should expect what she should accept what she should be looking for these are red flags here's your deal breakers list or maybe not here's your deal breakers, but what is it you know what do you like what are your expectations these are questions that i should be able to have with my daughter now and i'm well equipped to have these conversations with my daughter now and i want you guys to be well equipped to not only have the conversations with yourself but also to have these conversations with your children so when they go outside, they're not looking and seeking for the love and attention that they could have and should have gotten from you. Doesn't matter even how it doesn't even matter if you have a child that really just went to college. You can still have these conversations. Yeah, they're late in the game. Yes, they've been talking to their friends. Yes, they've been getting a lot of oh, stupid information because their children getting information from their other friends who are children as well. But you can still interject and try to give them some type of guidance. They might not listen right away because they're thinking, even with, even, with, even in their childish mind, they're thinking, well, why are you trying to tell me now? But it doesn't matter. You have to start somewhere, especially if you have children at the household. But even if they moved out and you want to, you know, try to guide them in the right way because they probably still don't know. They, prob they probably still don't know. They're probably still trying to figure this thing out. And so maybe one day your child might be watching this video and then they have to forgive you. So you have to forgive your parents because you have hurt people yourself. And you know how I know that you've hurt people yourself because hurt people hurt people. Not that you're doing it on purpose, but because you, you have hurt and you are hurting or have hurt, right? You definitely have hurt somebody else. So, forgive, I'm going to wrap all of that up. Yes, that was long-winded, but forgive your parents for yourself, for your sanity, so you can move forward in life and have a prosperous 
relationship with yourself, but then also the relationship with your spouse that also translate into the relationship that you could possibly have or not have it currently with even your siblings. Because sometimes that negative information, you feel like your sibling was treated better than you. And maybe you have a chip on your shoulder and you pissed off at, their, at your actual sibling. They don't have no reason. They, they wondering why you pissed off at them. And so maybe it's time for you to mend. Forgiving your parents is going to help you, help you mend that relationship with your siblings. It's going to help you to, to put on your big girl drawers and put on your big boy underwear and say, you know what? Maybe I'm misreading them. And y'all can actually have an intelligent adult conversation and start to understand each other. So we can start bringing our families actually back together instead of splitting them even further apart. Because we are constantly in a state of comparison. Or I don't like you because when we, was, uh, when we were kids, this was happening. But now as adults, you have a chance to change all of that around. But you have to be aware. If you are subscribed to my channel, you'll be coming back multiple, multiple times. Then you already know. You are the one who is obligated to get the conversation started. That does not mean that they are going to be receptive and open to hear what you have to say. But you at least got to try. I know I went all off on the tangent. But let me just wrap all of this around. Another reason why you need to forgive your parents is because when you start to have conversations with your friends, you don't get a chance to really open up and be who you are because you're holding on because you were still thinking about the acceptance that you didn't get at the household. And so even in your friendships, there's still some type of barrier, wall up. Because if you didn't get this love and attention and, you know, from your parents, how was somebody else going to be able to give it to you? How do you let down your guard and be vulnerable even with your friends? They don't even know who you truly are because you got all of this insecurities and everything is just oh, bottled up with inside of you. All of those emotions start to come back up whenever you talk about your parents. And then you really revert back into being that child. And so all of that love and attention that you were not receiving at the household, you get really emotional when you start to talk about it because you've never got a chance to get it out. And even if you try to have the conversation with your parents, maybe they're not ready for it. Maybe they'll never be ready for it. Will you be okay if you never get the I'm sorry, I didn't acknowledge you? I'm sorry, you are beautiful. I'm sorry, I didn't give you the tools. I'm so will, will you be okay if you never hear that? I'm sorry. If they never take responsibility for the role that they played in the, per the person that you have now become, if they never take responsibility for that, will you be okay? Are you now going to sit there and think, you know what? I am acting a damn fool because my parents... Or are you going to be like, you know what? I am now 40 years old. At this point, I can't blame nothing that I do on my mama. I can't blame nothing that I do on my daddy. I can't blame nothing that I do on my guardian. Because you can't. At some point in your life, you have to take responsibility for the things that you do. You can't blame it on your mama. can't blame it on your daddy. Can't blame it up on your on your upbringing because at some point you have a choice to become somebody different. And maybe you have not accepted that choice or stood up and started walking in your choice. And now you're doing the same thing over and over again and you're expecting different results. So now you're being insane out there. Don't do it to yourself. Forgive your parents for your sanity. I'll, I'll say that until the video ends. Forgive your parents because you want to just open up and be vulnerable to everybody that's in your life. They should know exactly who they're dealing with. Not just your spouse. Your friends should know. Because guess what? When you start sharing these things with your friends, 
that relationship becomes even deeper. They'll be in your corner even more. They'll support you even more and they will understand you even more. And guess what? You never know if they've been through the exact same thing that you've been through or even a similar situation. And you could be like, you know what, sis? How'd you get through that? You know what, bruh? I'm still not over that. Can you help me? And so now you're teaching somebody else to overcome their struggle, to overcome their insecurity. Because life really is about connections, y'all. And if you're not connecting, I mean truly connecting with your circle, truly connecting with your spouse, what you doing? But all of this, a lot of it, most of it, with many of us, it stems from our childhood. Most of us are still holding on to all of our childhood pains that we've never gotten over because we have never sat our parents down and said, you know what, I am the person I am and you helped with X, Y, and Z and I didn't like it when I was a child and now I'm able to express it to you. You don't have to go on there and be like, you did this and you did that and now I'm doing this and I didn't, no. It don't have to even be the blame game. You say, you know what, Ma? This is what it was. I hate it when you do it X, Y, and Z. And as a result, now I do this. But you know what? I don't want to do this any longer. I'm bringing it to the forefront so you can understand me as an adult. I'm always going to be your child, but I'm not the little child anymore. And sometimes I know that parents struggle with letting their child be an adult. They... They always see us in a state of that little kid. And we're not that any longer. We're adults. But they always see us in a state of childhood. And I get it. I get it to a certain degree. But at some point as the parent, you have to let your child be, be an adult. But you have to forgive your parents. Because one day your child might have to come to you and have this very conversation with you. And they might have to be forgiving you. And so this is your time now to start to break that cycle. And if you don't have children, but you're still pissed off at your parents, now is the time to start forgiving your parents. Forgive your dad that he walked away, that he wasn't there. Forgive your dad that he was in prison or your mama was in prison. So they wasn't physically there. It doesn't matter that you went and visited them a couple times a year or, you know, whatever it was. Maybe they weren't there and then you got molested or raped. Forgive them for that. It's an unfortunate, it's an, it is an unfortunate act that occurred to you, but it was a part of your story. It is a part of your story. And you're okay. You're okay. You are okay. You will be okay. But you got to do the work. You have to, you have to forgive your parents. You do. Because they were only able to give you the tools and, and, and strategies and, and anything that they were able to give you. They did the best that they could with the tools that they had to work with. Because we all know that there is no pamphlet. There is no document. There is no book on how to be a parent for every single child out here. Some things across the board may work. And some things just will not work with your particular child. And so we have to figure these things out. Now we're realizing the way that we actually speak to our children makes a difference. All of the things that you heard your parents say to you, whether it was stupid, you ain't gonna be shit, you still replay all those things in your head as an adult. And you either do one or two things. You either prove them wrong so you go hard in the paint. You never look back and you become this big successful thing. Or you actually hear this voice in your head and all this negativity your entire life. And then you don't pursue anything. Because you ain't shit. You ain't never going to be shit. You got that song playing the entire time of your life. Instead of switching that thing off and creating the life that you actually want to have for yourself. So ladies and gentlemen, switch that doggone volume all the way down, all the way off. Create the life that you want. But start by... Forgiving your parents 
for all of the things that they were just not able to give you, for all of the affirmations that they never gave you. Forgive you for forgive your parents for all of the beautiful words that they should have been implementing and, and store in you that they never did. Like you're beautiful. You're smart. Oh my God, you're amazing. You are perfect just the way you are. Forgive them if they never told you those words. And now you start telling them as in yourself. Start saying the words yourself to yourself each and every day. Say it as long as you need to say it until you start to believe it. Because you are beautiful. And you are beautifully and wonderfully made in God's eyes. And God didn't make no mistakes. Everything that has happened to you is a part of your story. Your parents were meant to be your parents. And you can't change it. So instead of harboring that resentment, that anger, just forgive your parents and let all that stuff go. So you can grow. So you can prosper. So you can show up as the best version of yourself. I'll see you guys in a future video. Deuces.